Hello and welcome to The Eileen Silverman Show. I'm your host, Eileen, and on this week's program, our guests discuss the 25-year history of the Har Museum of Art and their upcoming 25 Candles fundraising benefit to secure a bright future for the Harn. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our program. On Friday, September 25th, you have the opportunity to attend the Harn Museum of Art's 25th anniversary birthday bash at a fabulous 25 Candles party. To tell us more, I'm pleased to introduce my guest, Director Rebecca Nagy, Director of the Harn Museum of Art. And it's wonderful to have you join us, Rebecca. Thank you, Eileen. It's always a pleasure to be with you on your program. Well, I think back to uh, many years ago when we did the first show together and you were the new director at the Harn Museum of Art. And that was uh, what year? Refresh my memory, about 2002. 2002, <laughs> okay. exactly. So it was 13 years ago. It's amazing for me to realize that I've been here for half the life of the museum now. And we've, we've seen a lot of growth, we've seen a lot of change, a lot we've of, seen a lot of wonderful things yes. happen. And this, the 25th birthday celebration, what a milestone. It I mean, is. I congratulate you and everybody. And we're all looking forward to this gala, to this birthday celebration. But before we get to talk about that, okay, um, kind of take us back and share some of the history of the Harn, and you know, go back the 25 years plus, and and relive some of that with us. I'd love to. Well, before there was the Harn Museum of Art, there was a university gallery at the College of Fine Arts right. at the University of Florida, and some of the faculty members and community volunteers who were involved with the University Gallery had a dream, a vision of having a separate, independent museum of art where permanent art collections could be built and housed and exhibited and studied, right. as well as having you know temporary changing exhibitions. So this dream had been going on for a long time when um, someone came along who made it all possible. Yes. And um, it was actually two people, uh, David Coffrin and his wife, Marianne Karn Coffrin. They, together with their family members, three generations of the family, so um, made the initial gift to launch the founding and construction of the Harn Museum of Art. At the time, their gift of $3 million right. was the largest gift that any single donor had ever given I mean, it set a to standard. the university. It and set the, a new those standard. working with the university gallery thought, would this, this ever happen? They were astonished and then suddenly it was almost that dream to was be coming true. true. I mean, it did come true. It did come true. Other donors stepped in to contribute their part. The state matched right, the funds matched to uh, make the building possible. So by the time they were able to construct the Harn and it opened in 1990, it was an $8 million plus project. Wow. 
So, and um, they're such a well-respected, uh, gracious family, and they have continued to stay a part of the Harn. They have continued to also be part of the enlargement of the Harn. They have. Um, sadly, Dr. David Coffrin passed away a few years ago, and we miss him so much. We do. His uh, beautiful wife, Marianne, is still very much involved with the Harn, as are her children and grandchildren. So they also made possible the first major expansion of the museum, which happened in 2005. And that was the wing that has galleries for contemporary art now, right. the cafe that so many people enjoy for lunch, and the classrooms where we can host, you know, just a myriad of activities exactly. for people of all ages. Then, um, before he passed away, Dr. Coffrin made another very important gift yes. to support the, the construction of the David A. Coffrin Asian Art Wing. That's our latest edition. It opened in 2012. And I was part of that celebration and so many others. And um, when someone needs to go there and just immerse themselves to see what these additions have brought to well, the Harn. You know, one of it, the um, interesting things about the growth of the Harn is that in each instance, through the competition process, um, we have selected Kali Hu as the architect. So um, the committees that make these selections keep going back to Ka because he had a vision from the very beginning of how the museum could be expanded. Right. You know, that was part of the thinking. So he was able to add on to the museum and still have a coherence and, you know, Which a it feeling does. that it all belongs together. Yes, exactly. And we have so much more to talk about, and I know we're about to take a quick break, but just we're going to talk more about that party and the future of the Harn. Everybody that's coming to this party is part of what's coming up. Well, in you're the years so right. Um, the goal of this party is to establish a what we're calling a momentum fund, and um, the the income from the party, the the revenues that we. Um, succeed in raising with everyone's help, um, will go into this momentum fund that we will use to enable us to continue developing our exciting exhibitions, our um, exactly. array of educational programs. And all of us For years benefit. to come. Exactly, well said. Stay with us, we'll be right back. We're back discussing the Harn Museum's 25th birthday benefit, and I'm pleased to introduce Allison Van Denen, Coordinator of Alumni Affairs and Annual Giving, and I'm pleased to welcome you here. Thank you, Eileen. It's an honor to be here with you discussing our event. Oh, well, Allison, I've heard how much you have been a part of this whole event and significant to the planning. And I got to say, there's a lot going on on September 25th. There is. This is there like is. a multi layered birthday you're bash right. benefit. There's and, a lot um, going on. Even I congratulate for us. you for all you're doing and everybody who's volunteering and on the planning committee and your chairs. And, you know, we want to know all about it. Oh, wonderful. Well, I love to tell you, Will. So that's correct. We have a lot going on. As you mentioned, our chairs, we have some wonderful chairs. We have Lewis and Rosemary Oberndorf, who are our event chairs, Good people. along with James and Tina Bates. Oh I know my you gosh, know James. yes, we go way back. <laughs> and they're our honorary chairs of the event because, That's as wonderful. you know, 
James is out of town. Right. So we're, we're lucky that he'll be able to screencast in for us. But I didn't know about his involvement in art, or now I do. A mm -hmm. little more, tell me about that. Just yes, so we'll James know. is an artist as well as um, being in the sports world. So we love that connection. And he recently made a fabulous piece that's hanging in the president's house of Mr. Two Bits. So um, it is just such a neat connection that we discovered recently with right. him. And Tina will be there for the event on that yes. Friday evening. We're lucky so to have her there. Too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me more. Okay, get us going on the whole idea. First, we're celebrating, as Rebecca has said, the 25 years of the Harn Museum of Art. So it's a birthday party. It is. It's a birthday party and the goal is to have fun and to raise funds that will create a momentum fund for the next five years and beyond of the okay, Harn. Right. And the event is tiered, just like you said, like a birthday exactly. cake. So explain that. Mm -hmm. We have different options to suit all of different tastes, okay. including a seated dinner option in a tent in the parking lot outside the Harn. Okay. And then we also have a lively cocktail hour and then a very fun after party. Um, which includes our fireworks and a little birthday celebration for the museum and of course DJ and lots of and exciting music and partying and throughout dancing. the evening mm -hmm. and people can go online to purchase the tickets they um, can okay they can go making... on our website um, okay. harn.ufl.edu slash 25 candles okay and of course if you don't like using websites you can give me a call okay right we're making all that information available yep. mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I've already signed up and bought my ticket so you have. it's very mm -hmm. simple to do and oh, good. Uh, you get to make all your different choices but of course every Everybody comes together for some significant parts of the evening. First of all, what about blowing out candles in a birthday cake? Yes, What's so gonna everyone happen? will get to enjoy our little birthday party in the promenade, and that's at 8.30 p.m., and we'll be having an acapella group sing happy birthday to the Harn. We'll all get to have our cupcakes and toast to the Harn's many milestones and the many years to come. So oh, Okay, that is a lot so of fun. fun. Mm -hmm. And now we don't want to give all the secrets away, but fireworks. <laughs> fireworks are happening at 9.30. We tried to pick a time that would suit everyone and okay. they will be over the lake in back of the Harn. And right, and there's several options within the, the Harn itself where mm -hmm. you can go to enjoy mm -hmm. the fireworks mm -hmm. and uh, yes. even go from one place to another. Okay, mm -hmm. but even the fireworks won't signal an end to the evening because oh, that's no. when we're going to kick in with the DJ even that's more, right. right? And have our dancing and that's good right. times. The party will just begin after those fireworks end. DJ Gerard will be spinning the tune. And yes. I hope I can even get out there myself and do some dance oh, moves I hope so. near you the end of the Sarah, night. Right, <laughs> and and tell me a little more about um, the whole evening because we're in a in a museum and it's all you know beautiful to start with, but right. we're going to kind of be immersing ourselves in it's art. true it's true we kept the museum open we're keeping it open all night so you can experience the art in a new way you'll get to see conversations which is our special exhibition that's opening that day in honor Excellent. of our 25th anniversary and there'll be some new artworks um, on display from donors that have been given as gifts for the anniversary so so we'll get to admire mm -hmm. all of that you're yeah, right it's gonna be wonderful yes and and it's just a wonderful thing to be a part of, and the Harn Museum is just one of the very special parts of not just the University of Florida, but our whole community. So we are all proud to celebrate it. And there's lots more to discuss. We're gonna take a quick break. Stay with us, we'll be right back.
we're back discussing the Harn Museum of Art's 25th birthday benefit. And Rebecca, thanks for joining us. And there's so much more to, to talk about with this wonderful 25 candles event and what a celebration. Allison has told us so much, but there's more people involved. So share some more, tell us okay. more. Well, we wanted to mention our colleague Jay Watkins, who's mm -hmm. of course the director of the Gator Band. He stepped forward the moment we asked him to help and said he'd be delighted to bring his musicians to the horn that evening to perform throughout the building with different ensembles. So the idea is that we want to invite people to wander throughout the museum, enjoy the art, and listen to the beautiful music. Oh, and whenever they're involved, it just raises the energy level. It does. When the Gator Band is there, and wait, Albert and Alberta, they're attending they also. They are going to be there, there as well. <laughs> right. And there's some more people to thank. Tell us a bit yes, more. Yes, we're so excited that First Magnitude Brewing Company is going to be our after party sponsor. And I'm sure folks will be happy to know that we'll be featuring three of their beers during our birthday party. Um, Drift, Siren, and 72. So Excellent. that'll be a nice addition to the evening. Yes. Oh, there's a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that we're in the Harn Museum of Art itself, Rebecca, and a lot is going on. Allison mentioned the conversations, but elaborate more, okay. tell us more. Well, this special exhibition celebrating our 25th anniversary is called Conversations. It is drawn from all of the different collecting areas of the museum, from African to Asian to photography and so on. And from our collection, which now numbers over 10,000 objects, oh, outstanding. our six curators have brought out treasures wow. um, that some of which people may not have seen for a long time right. mm -hmm. or they may be new acquisitions that people have not seen before and these works of art will be grouped thematically according to themes such as the way of all flesh, right. um, identity, right. work, you were saying yes. urban life, urban leisure. life, you know, all these different themes. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, the, the works of art will be in conversation with each other. And you'll see things unique. juxtaposed mm -hmm. that you would never see together on any other occasion. Which will allow us to have conversation about the art and, and engage everyone you know, to move about and mingle talk and talk. Talk about and, it with and your yes, friends. And the art yeah. becomes, as it should be, part of the focus of part the of, celebration. Part of that conversation. I love what uh, that has taken, and I know it's ongoing, a lot to put this together. Well, when you have six different curators yes. working together as a Very team. Very six talented people. They're yes. accustomed to working independently on their exhibitions. Yes. And yes. they have really had fun doing this, and, and they've done a beautiful job. Oh, I look forward to that. And along with that, you're also focusing on some um, special gifts from donors mm -hmm. who have, of course, make such a difference to the fact of those 10,000 We would not have a collection items, of yes. that size if it weren't for the generosity of our friends. Exactly, and that um, is true. So many gifts have come in during our anniversary year. Mm -hmm. So we'll be featuring them throughout the museum. And each of those 25th anniversary gifts will have a special label on it, very colorful, that will say 25. And when people are walking through the museum, they'll be able to recognize, oh, this is a new work of art, a new acquisition in honor of the that. 25th anniversary. Yes. And people can oh. see how the collection's growing. No, that means so much. And I know a number of those um, individuals, those donors, will be attending, will be yes, part of will. it. Yes, um, What is it you were telling them about uh, the glass? The One of our new collecting areas is right. art glass. Ralph and Mona Chrissy from Winter Winter Park, Park. Mm -hmm. uh, near Orlando have donated um, 30 beautiful objects by Tiffany and Stuban Glassworks. Oh. Um, and these are going to be um, just a whole new experience for people in our modern gallery, near where oh. the Monet is usually hanging. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Mickey Singer. <laughs> thank you, Mickey. <laughs> yes, we'll never forget, we never forget that. But how generous of people yes. to, to bring this, and I think what ceramics you have just. We have Japanese ceramics right, that are being we'll be, gifted to the museum. Mm -hmm. We have paintings in the contemporary collection. Just. More you know, than we've more ever than, gotten to than see. And we have before. time to even mention no, that people can I know. come and discover it. It's them. going to be a full evening. It certainly, certainly will. That's right. Yes, September 25th, but there's still more to talk about, so stay with us. We will be right back.
We're back discussing the Harn Museum of Art's 25th birthday benefit. And there's so much going on that evening, Friday, September 25th, but then there's a whole special event Sunday, the That's 27th. Right. So tell us about that, Rebecca. Well, on Sunday, we're having our public celebration, which is free and open to everyone. Um, the events of Sunday afternoon between 1 and 5 p.m. are being planned by our exceptional education department at no, the Horn. They are. You have so many good programs. They have such talented people, yes. and they're going to have activities for all ages, so people can come, bring their children. Uh, you know, everyone is welcome, and um, it's just going to be a, a continuation Another. of the celebration. Right. And hopefully we'll be celebrating a big win over Tennessee as I well. know, because oh. that's Saturday. That happens <laughs> on Saturday. Game. Yes. Gators versus Tennessee. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. yes, so we hope we'll have more to a celebrate. A lot to celebrate. We're expecting that. But, um, and, and again, what are the hours of the, the Sunday event? The Sunday event is from 1 to 5. Okay. And just and as the museum is always free. Yes. Uh, free admission that Sunday afternoon is free admission. And that's what's so wonderful about the Harn Museum of Art. You just walk through the door that's and right. you're there. And, and you are even making it easier than ever before with you, a change that has come with uh, membership. And give us a little update on that. First, how many members do you have right now? We now have over 5,000 members, which we are so thrilled about. That is outstanding. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank a you. milestone, too. It certainly is. Thank you. Yes. That's due to Allison's good work. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> well said. Well, that's all part of our movement to a system of free membership at the Harn, which right. we are officially launching on that Sunday, the 27th. So a lot's taking yeah. place. Yes. Yes. Okay. Busy day. Tell us more about so, that. So anyone who comes that day that wishes to join as a member can do so at the door. I'll have a whole team of people there that'll make that happen, and um, they'll get to enjoy all the benefits of membership that we've always offered. So. And, and that's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole other way now. How does that figure in with your annual gift opportunity so that we can kind of define our own generosity mm -hmm. of what works for everybody? Well, there you said it. That's how we view free membership is that all our members will have the chance to choose, you know, when and how much they want to give each year. We'll ask them once a year to consider giving. And then, as you say, they can define their own generosity to the HARN. Um, will no longer have that old-fashioned dues-based system. Okay. So people can give that day, or if they wish to give at a later point, they can do that as well. And you'll have people standing by with their iPads to take care of it, right? We so certainly that... will. We're going to have all of our wonderful volunteers ready to assist. Yes. Well, and this whole event is taking a lot of volunteers. I, I know you have a lot of committee members, people who have been working for quite some time very hard to make all mm -hmm. of this, you know, happen. And um, certainly, the chairs that you have in place. Uh, I remember being with them for 20 candles, because that right. had been five years ago. Yes, I that's know. right. How could that be possible? It's true, I know. We're so happy to have Lou and Rosemary Oberndorf on board as our event chairs. They're just working tirelessly to make this event amazing. And as you said, they were at 20 candles five years ago and wanted to be more involved this time around. So we're so grateful for their support. Yes, and, and with we, we know that they are drawing in people from outside the um, north central Florida mm -hmm. area who are yes. coming for the game, who are coming for the uh, University of Florida uh, Foundation Board um, weekend. Mm -hmm. and, and that's all to really um, better to celebrate what you're doing at the Harn. And we just have a little bit of time left. Rebecca, tell us a bit more about I know for both of you, this means so much. Well, it does. And our goal at the Horn is to make everyone feel welcome, to eliminate any barriers to being part of the Horn family. So um, this is why we have free admission. This is why we're opening up free membership so that everyone can be part of all the activities at the Horn and, and you know, just come and enjoy it whenever their schedules allow. And, yes, uh, oh wait, and Thursday nights, I don't want to forget, you have museum nights. Once so that's a month, another we have museum nights. Right. We're open late and again, free with just an amazing array of art making, music, dance, refreshments. Oh. Yeah. If you, know. you look at your schedule by a month, it, throughout a month, so many activities uh, for it, multi generational. That's right. Yes. Everyone from toddlers exactly. to seniors and everyone yes. in between. Yes, <laughs> we yes. Got it all. 
Well, we are so <laughs> fortunate to have the Harn Museum of Thank Art you. as part of the University of Florida and as the whole community here in Alachua County. And I thank you, Rebecca, for leading the way as director for so many years and accomplishing so much. Your friendship means a great deal and, and uh, we hold you in high regard. And Allison, hats off and a salute to you <laughs> and the whole team for all you're thank doing. You. Thank you both. Thank you. And I hope I will see you at the Harn Museum of Art's 25 birthday benefit. Come join us and celebrate 25 years of the Harn Museum. I'm so glad that you tuned in and I hope you'll join us next week. Take care.